Hey guys, this is Infamous here coming to you with another gameplay of The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 4, Part 1. Oh my gosh, last episode was crazy. Let's get this started. Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <laughs> Kenny! Kenny! <laughs> When you cover yourself in their smell, we're at the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. I guess you can see this is Kenny's way of getting back at home because he always be his face stuff, so. <laughs> Stay here, Rebecca. We need to keep moving. Look, the walkers 
still moving toward the hardware store. We can make it out if we stick to... I'm glad you're here. We can watch each other's back. I'll stick with you. Thank you. We need a clear path to the trees. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Anything? If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. all those other people who, who still standing there, staying there shooting um, walkers you know they can't shoot all them walkers they gonna be dead <laughs> a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. It's been at least an hour since I saw any walkers. Carver's people should be keeping them busy for a while. That'd be lucky. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, 
I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh... Yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, I ain't gonna other abandon stuff. It, baby. Yeah. And? We can't just abandon it. Hey, whoa. I never said you should abandon it. I just mean that sometimes you can't protect everyone you'd want to. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait. Damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. How's Kenny? He's about to be... I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped down on me. He's about to get a bad confrontation with me shit. and Kenny. I know. Watch. He probably didn't mean I it. feel it. But it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... he's not thinking straight. Somebody's gotta do something. We can't just keep sitting here forever. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. Being angry won't help anything. No, because it's sure as hell helping me. I did what I thought was right. It was all I could do. All you could do? Because of you, Sarita is dead. And you're telling me you no, she was dead all already. you could do? You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're 
Sorry, it'll all magically go away. That's not how it works. Well, you see him brutally kill somebody in the fucking face. And you think that can magically go time. away? <laughs> Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still. Doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, mm -mm. it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? Well, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now, either. We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Statue man, like it seemed like he was helping like his friend from being hurt. <laughs> I don't know. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I say we should still I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you away from them you wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart but i still i just gotta warn you that group is cracking i've seen it before and well a lot of times it's better to be on your own i know you see what i'm talking about you don't want to be here when they start turning on each other turning on you they're not bad people but there have been problems before i don't always agree with what they say or do neither do i look at kenny i don't even know where to begin with what a liability he is and rebecca's situation is not making things better back there you get enough broken people together and all you're gonna get are broken decisions have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but... A walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. She one of those people who. I could have what? Never mind. There are things I don't like remembering, too. You know, being a big sister is... well, it's funny. 
It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Whoa, you really were mean. What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer, we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <sighs> That's All right. kind of nice, Jackpot. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> These walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently they weren't walkers, were they? Sure. Take a look. <laughs> old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these <laughs> ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. Let's see what else he's got. I'll check this one. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Nothing we can use, right? Hmm. I guess they would be useful, in a way. To him, at least. <laughs> Smart haircut. Thanks. <sighs> so... Has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I've actually only been with them a little while. I don't know what it was like before I got there. But Kenny was different. I know that. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. It jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> she wanted those people. I was trying to say it real quick. She wanted those kind of people say, "I'm alone. I like to be alone. I'm, I want to be alone." No, girl, you don't want to be alone. You just want to be around the good people. But there ain't no good people. You have to see. Can never be too sure with these. That's things. gonna be her downfall. Here, give me a hand. Yeah. That's one of her downfalls. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but- Yeah! Sarah, goddamn. Shit. Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. She Looks like there's an opening over there. your friend. You should do this. I'm sorry, Nick.
All right, it's done. If it comes to it, if Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? It never gets any easier, does it? As in for me. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. No, she need to find a better hatchet, though. Very effective. Because I never seen a hatchet that just go. do this. <laughs> you try to sit here and wiggle it out. No, it just need one good clean swipe. It should have been over with. We have to sit here and disfigure Nick's head just to sit here and kill him. They don't sound too good. The clock is ticking. How do we find them? Start by getting a better look. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. That's the trauma. Get the arrow. What do you want me to do? Nice work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. Okay. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. She's so cocky. Like, watch this. Like this. Okay. Take out the knees first. <laughs> then, put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right. Let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Get the hell off of me! You did the knee thing. Nice trick, huh? That's a lot of walkers. They look moved up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. Yeah. <laughs> How do we get <laughs> in? <laughs> if we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? What are I got you covered. Why are you doing this? I'm gonna stop it right here. I like to thank y'all guys for watching the video and subscribing. Get Keep on subscribing, sharing my videos, and commenting on the video. Uh, and I hope to see you for the next part of The Walking Dead. Take care.